Let's talk about printing customer statements. It's the end of the month and we want to send out statements to all of our customers. Statements are an excellent way to communicate things with your customers. And it provides an opportunity to remind them of any balances they owe you. To print customer statements, come here to the Reports pull-down menu and come down to Accounts Receivable. Within this window, scroll down to the folder that says Customer Statements. Open this folder and you can view the selected statements that are available within Peachtree. Let's use the Statement Plane and let's preview it. Now, let's look at some of the selection criteria that are available on the filter window. Here, we can once again select the statement we want to use. Here, we can choose the statement date. Let's choose the end of the month. Here, we're given two choices, balance forward and open items. Let's talk about these. Balance forward will start with a balance that's owed at the beginning of this statement date period, which would be March 1st. It would show all items lumped together as a beginning balance. And it will show all activity in the month of March. The open item will show all items that are still open, even items prior to the statement period. March. Let's look at both of these. We'll first pull up the balance forward statement. Peachtree is going to prepare these statements first and then pull them up on the screen for us. Here's the first one. You can see that we have, let's zoom in a little bit, March 18th to Chapman Murphy, a balance outstanding $199.96. Let's zoom back out. Let's go down and look at the next statement. Here, this shows activity to Cunningham Construction. They owe us $180.18. Let's look at another one. Here is a balance forward. This shows a balance forward all the way back from February. This also shows payments and partial payments. Now, let's look at the other choice. Preview, and we'll go into the filter window again, and this time we're going to choose open items. Let's set our statement date again to the end of the month. And now Peachtree will process the statements and then pull them up on the screen for us to look at. Let's scroll down a little ways. Let's look at this one. Here's one that has activity from back in February. And you can see the difference here. It actually gives us a reference number and a due date, rather than showing it as just purely a beginning balance. Here's another one. And that's the difference between the two, the beginning balance and the open item. We prefer the open item because 
it gives the customer more information about what their beginning balance is.